guys. Welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a very hard to find, highly discontinued scent from the 80s. It's classified as a cheaper fragrance. It's from the house of Lancome. It is Trophy by Lancome. So, uh, it was named after the Trophy Golf Tournament from 1970 to 2003. The fragrance was discontinued, then I believe relaunched again in the early 2000s, and then unfortunately discontinued. So what we're going to do, as we always do, we're going to break down the fragrance into five parts, take a look at its box and bottle presentation. I'll go over the notes, pick out the notes that I think I find most prominent in the fragrance. I'll go over its performance based on my experience wearing it, essentially how long it's going to last on me. I'll give it my overall thoughts, and then of course my overall rating. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and if you have an Instagram, go ahead and check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel and of course photos of fragrances from my collection. Let's take a look at Trophy. Starting things off with the presentation, let's take a look at the box. So green, white, and red is the color scheme here. Sorry for the ring light, it's a little reflective. Trophy, Lancome, you have this golfer here, real golf theme as it's, again, it's based after the, the golf tournament. Lancome, this is a 100 ml bottle. This was the 20th anniversary edition. This actually comes off and then on the back you have some brand information there. You have Lancome on the top and then on the bottom you have your barcode and batch code. I actually got this one online and it is in perfect condition. Those of you know that I did receive one a while back and basing it, you know, I'm wearing both of them again. The top notes in that one were just not correct, but the dry down ended up being okay. This one though is perfect. Let's take a look at the bottle. Really beautiful painted on lettering here. The golf guy painted on again. This is the funniest cap in the world. It just looks like a golf ball, the golf ball pattern. You can see that there. It's got a sprayer. We'll check out the distribution. It's my scent of the day. So I'll spray some on myself. So good. And on the bottom here, you see a sticker with your batch code and some more information. It is see through this golden juice. And it's just a really cool bottle. Um, I have some other products that I'll show you in a moment, but that's the presentation for Trophy Lancome. Okay, so the notes for Trophy. The top, we have lime, basil, amalfi, lemon, and pedigree. And then in the middle or heart of the fragrance, we have jasmine, bay leaf, and lavender. And then in the base, you have oak moss, Virginia cedar, musk, patchouli, amber, tonka bean, French labanum. So the notes that I pick up on the most, since it's an 80s sheep rub, obviously I do get the lime, I do get the herbal basil, and I do get the lemon. It's really citrus up top, and then I get oak moss and lavender and a little bit of cedar, and it's just an absolutely beautiful combination. So those are the notes that I pick up on the most. The rest are in there. I can't detect them, unfortunately. Okay, so the performance on this, I was actually pleasantly surprised mainly because it's a fresh fragrance there's you know it's heavy citrus and typically those do not last that long it's called pour le sport so it's sportier fresher usually those coincide with just about average performance but i'm getting at least six seven hours out of this we'll say six and a half hours overall uh it definitely projects strong in the first two hours like i really smell it then by the end of the day you know right before the work day's over maybe around 3 3 30 it's kind of a skin set at that point but it doesn't matter it smells fantastic um some of the products that you can find that help push the performance are a deodorant spray it's aerosol this smells really nice and then I was able to track down an aftershave splash. Look at that bottle. Look at that. The golf ball top screws on. And this was in perfect condition, not sour at all. This is what I shaved with today. And this is actually spicier. It's a little bit richer, darker than the, than the eau de toilette. And that can happen with aftershave sometimes. Um, here's the bottle that I did get initially. It's sort of a continuous spray. The top notes are not, not great. It's sour. But the dry down, actually, when I finally got a good bottle, I noticed was still intact. So I'll use it occasionally. Once you get past the first few minutes, it's not, not so bad. Uh, I think I was just more pissed off that it wasn't uh, perfect when I bought it. So, you know, those, um, and here's a little mini, you can see that too. Those other products will help push the performance and I would imagine maybe get you at least to the workday, but it doesn't matter. Six hours is pretty solid for a fresh sporty fragrance. Okay, so my overall thoughts on Trophy. Obviously, I've mentioned multiple times throughout this review so far that I really love the fragrance. I love the way it smells, but this is just a really classic it's just so 80s from the bottle to the smell everything about it just screams classic masculine men's fragrance right the the bottle and the presentation just tells a story that the scent concludes when you spray it on it's really bright fresh and uplifting you get the burst of citrus and then you get the mix of lavender and oak moss and it really goes from a fresh sporty scent drying down to a mossy green rich soapy lemon like lemon soapy fragrance that's the one thing that stands out the most uh it, it's it's something that you could wear i would imagine 
three seasons is probably best for. Winter, I would imagine it not necessarily lasting as long, but you could wear it all year round. It would work in any occasion. Um, social setting, work, office safe for sure. It's masculine, it stands out, it's different. It's absolutely an, an amazing fragrance. And unfortunately, of course, because it's good, they discontinued it, which is what tends to happen to all the things that I enjoy. But I still was able to get them. Uh, it, it really does just um, have a really bright opening. And that lemon really stays with the fragrance the whole way. Even when it gets into the mossy part, the lemon comes out in this soapier form as opposed to like a citrus squeeze burst in the beginning to a real soapy, mossy dry down at the end. Uh, it's a classy, signature scent worthy. Like I mentioned this, so this was the inspiration for my country club scent video that I did um, last week. This one is, is an awesome fragrance and having the full collection really just makes it even better. And I love the look. You know, you can't beat the presentations from the 80s. And the only way this would have been better built-in sprayer, baby. I don't know why it's not like that. It's the shape. They got the shape, but the cap and the sprayer and presentation is still really cool. Um, this is a, and it's surprisingly long lasting too. So it's a really awesome scent. If you love sheepers, you love green masculine, uh, with a, a side of brightness and freshness to it. Trophy Lancome is for you. Okay, it's time for my overall ratings for Trophy by Lancome. Let's go presentation. Would be a perfect 10, but they didn't do the built-in sprayer, so it's getting a 9 out of 10 for me. Performance, like I mentioned, around 6 hours, so we're going to give it a 6 out of 10. And the scent is awesome. It really is unique, despite it not sounding that unique. I know it sounds and kind of falls into the category of many of the things that I've reviewed, that Chipra, you know, citrus, oak moss, blah, blah, blah. However, I've never had anything that gives off this soapy green long lasting dry down like this one. That lemon soapy green is unique to this fragrance. So the scent is getting an eight and a half out of 10, bringing the overall rating for Trophy by Lancome to an eight out of 10. Okay, guys, that'll wrap it up. That's my review of Trophy by Lancome. I would love to hear from you guys. Do you own this fragrance? Have you tried this fragrance? Those of you that follow me on Instagram, you see my stories that I post daily about the scent of the day. This has been on there a lot. Wanted to get a lot of good wear in before I actually reviewed it. Wanted to make sure that all the products that I ordered arrived so I could try them all out and give a fair review. And this is absolutely a stunner for me. So let me know in the comment section what you think. Have you tried it? Do you have a fragrance that you think would be a good substitute for it? Let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and then check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram. Instagram page if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.